Spider-Man's about to get shot, and there's no way he can get away. You can't! Don't do this! Lonnie, stop! I've learned my lesson! I've learned my lesson! It looks like Spider-Man messed with the wrong gang. You see, there is a gang war going on in New York City. One of the gangs is run by Rose, who is the son of the now-deceased Kingpin. The other is run by a known crime boss named Tombstone. There's a lot of friction going on between the two of them. For instance, Rose is trying to prove himself. I understand you doubt my strength. Very good, send him in. Meet Digger, the gamma irradiated gangster back from the death. While Tombstone just keeps wanting more and more. No, that's my answer. He doesn't have a territory, so I don't deal with him. Don't like saying things twice. The Rose is the Kingpin's kid, Tombstone. Kingpin's gone. Still a Fisk. The name will always mean something in this town. Not without a territory, it doesn't. It's the way things are. Lions don't deal with hyenas. Rose's gang needs guns, and Tombstone's crew has them, so they strike a deal. Tombstone will sell them, but Rose's gang has to come to his territory. You want me to come to Harlem? It's customary to meet in the middle. The middle of what? Your territory doesn't exist. You come to me. I have Harlem on lock. I guarantee the deal. Of course, that makes every gang leader mad. Because Tombstone is showing dominance, but there is nothing they can do. Time is ticking and the deal is about to happen, but Peter Parker notices Tombstone's crew and decides to follow them. Good thing I took a suit. Let's go for a ride. They arrive and the deal is about to happen, but then... Hope you brought the money. These things are getting harder to find. Ah, a goblin glider? How many miles does it have on it? You have to ask. You can really get burned on these things. Spider-Man? It's a bust! Digger! Digger? I know that... <laughs> Been waiting for this a long time! Uh Grab the glider! We're out of here! They're trying to stiff us! Light them up! Hold on! Everyone, calm down! Wait here! <laughs> we got this! Digger! The cash! Down! Tough day. <laughs> to be Kareem? Who's Kareem? Ah! I'll get Kareem. Wait here. Spider-Man rescues Kareem from the burning car, then uses his web shooter to capture Tombstone's crew. But while this is happening, Rose's gang escapes. Spider-Man tries to find them, but fails. It's clear now that Tombstone has a very personal reason to target Spider-Man. And Rose now has an excuse to kill Tombstone. And that's when everything changes, because... You guaranteed the deal, Tombstone. The Rose is in everyone's ear saying you can't run a territory. He's looking for an excuse to make a move. It's late, Hammerhead. Get some sleep. Wait! You fucking... Uh, I, I think we used too much fuel. We gotta go. Relax, will ya? Rose's gang just tried to kill Tombstone, but to their surprise, he survived. War is about to start. The next day, Tombstone meets Peter Parker in the city. He doesn't know that Peter is Spider-Man and thinks that him and Spider-Man are only friends. So he instructs him to deliver a message. The Rose blew up my house last night. Cat barely made it. We're going to war. Need you to get Spider-Man a message. I'm positive Spider-Man has zero interest in teaming up with you. I'll deal with the Rose. That's my world. But I want Spider-Man to know. This war that's about to happen, it's all his fault. I'll tell him to pack his bags. Sounds like he's going on a guilt trip. You tell him I'm gonna teach him how stupid all his do-gooder shit is. You tell him, he's my project now. Then he meets his daughter Janice, and instructs her to keep out of this war. I'm not a kid anymore! I can help you! You think you want to stick around to help me, but the man who's gonna handle this... He's not your dad. I'll... go. Can't believe this. Too grand a tooth. Spider-Man decides to face Tombstone face to face. Tombstone made a mistake when he said he was coming after me. He's a bully. He tries to move into your head, but I've been dealing with bullies my whole life. Threats don't work on me. I deal with them head on. No hesitation, so look alive, Tombstone. Spider-Man goes to the docks where he finds Rabbit and Kareem. 
Hello. Light him up. Huh? Spidey sense? Not tingling? Shoot him. He pulled me out of a burning car. What do you want me to do? You are useless. Kareem is grateful to Spider-Man for saving his life, so he decides not to shoot. Spider-Man then says that he only wants Tombstone for now, and he will come for them later, but... I take him down, I'm coming for you, of course. But at least you have a head start. I don't usually make deals like this, but I want to get this done today. Hmm, 106th and 2nd. I never told you that. Love it. <gasps> what?! Son of a bitch! We had a deal! Make sure to tell the cops when they get here. Aren't you worried about selling out Tombstone like that? What makes you think I did? In the Upper East Side, we see Crime Master, who just had a successful meeting with Rose, until... Lonnie? Er, Tombstone? Have a seat. W what can I do for you? Heard you had a meeting with Rose. Yes, I told everyone I'm staying neutral in this. I, I'd be more than happy to deal with you, too. That doesn't work for me. I'm sending a message. Everyone's gotta pick a side. You acknowledge the Rose has a seat at the table. I come for you. Uh, is this you coming for me? This is me coming for you. Here, call your men. Well, what? Tell them you need help. Tell them to bring everyone. This has gotta be loud. Spider-Man goes to the location that Rabbit was talking about and sees that Tombstone is there, surrounded by dead people. Forgot how exhausting this shit is. What did you do? I'm reasserting myself. You're blaming this on me? You think this is all my fault? This? Nah. I needed their guns. Took away two truckloads already. Now, I'm gonna make an example out of Crime Master here. You're right. It doesn't concern you. You can run along. You know that's not gonna happen! Thank God! Start her up, Clyde. Let's go! No, you don't! <laughs> What's so funny? All right, Boy Scout. Is this what you wanted? Are you happy now? Yeah, I am. Huh? Spider-Man just got trapped. Do you feel it? How bad you just fucked up? Spider-Man still tries to fight, but Tombstone grabs him and... He's got me. Doesn't make a sound. Ribs crack. He smiles. And then... He slept enough. Wake him up. You hear me? Get up. D don't... My mask. I don't play dress up, and I don't care who you are. Hear me? This next part. This is just so by the end of this, I can say we're even. Chains aren't gonna give, and no one's gonna hear you. Tombstone keeps torturing Spider-Man. And then we see one of Tombstone's men with a bunch of roses. And that's when Tombstone explains his evil plan to Spider-Man. These men are about to impersonate Rose's gang, so a superhero could take them out. What's all this? The Rose's men? Ha! That's just what all your friends are gonna think. See, a good guy got me into this mess, and the good guys are gonna get me out of it. My men dressed up like the Rose's goons are gonna go on a little rampage. Shoot up 125th Street, as far as anyone will know. The Rose will have ordered a massacre. One of your friends will see the carnage and take care of Richie Fisk for me. Captain America, Daredevil, don't care. Tombstone, this is crazy! You don't want to do this! Civilians, they have nothing to do with this! Neither did you, but here you are. You can't! Ah. We're moving. Lock and load. Kill him. You can't! Don't do this! Lonnie, stop! I've learned my lesson! I've learned my lesson! Bet you have, champ. But it's too late to save the day. Come back! Do you hear me? Come on, come on, come on. This is no time for my spider strength to fail me. Tombstone did the supervillain thing, told me his whole plan. His men are gonna carry out a massacre, disguised as the Rose's goons. Kinda ran out of creativity. When it came to me, I'm just gonna get shot in the head. Chains aren't budging. Think they're made of titanium. Adamantium, if anyone asks. Only gonna get one chance at this. Spider Sense will go crazy right before he pulls the trigger. Save my energy. Make one big move. Roll over. Get my web shooters on them. Why is it my spider sense? Whoa, whoa, hold up! Kareem? Kareem comes. The same Kareem Spider-Man saved from the burning car. Change of plans. Boss wants us to peel off. Tombstone said that? What about the bug? He just wanted to scare him. Leave him, man. Let's go. Fuck that. I did five years in Rikers because of him. I get where you're coming from. I do. But this... Put that gun down, you dumb motherfucker. What are you doing? You pulled me out of a burning car. 
I'm not gonna let them do you like this. The massacre. Has it started yet? Nah, man, but it's close. They're still getting ready upstairs. Spider-Man runs upstairs and tries to stop the preparation for the massacre. He fights for so long his web liquid runs out. Bad news, guys. No more web fluid. But then Spider-Man reaches one room. A room where someone is dressed up like Rose. Tombstone even had one of his goons dress up like the Rose. <clears throat> Yay for you, buddy. Here's your prize. Uh, Richard Fisk? The Rose? This is the Rose. Spider-Man just got tricked. Again. Wait, I was under the Rose's hideout. These are his men. Tombstone. Tricked me. I just won his war for him. What about your war? I decided there were things in my life I wasn't ready to give up. So I left it. 